Welcome back to Diabetic Savvy, the channel where we're improving the diabetic experience one meal at a time. My name is Dave and today we have a brand new recipe that utilizes what is considered to be one of the best fruits for the diabetic diet. So hit subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell if you'd like to be made aware when new content is being uploaded to the channel, and stay with us as we explore the mango and a great unique recipe that is full of flavor and nutrition and also manages your blood sugar. Mangoes are considered one of the most beloved tropical fruits in the world, and I have to tell you, I fully agree. Loaded with essential minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants, and a massive amount of fiber, they support the type 2 diabetic by regulating blood sugar and minimizing blood sugar spikes and the stress loads associated with most fruits. Before we get into today's recipe, keep two things in mind. Number one, be very careful of your portion size. Portion sizes are a major, major component of measuring your blood sugar. Secondly, to manage the blood sugar spikes of any fruit, add it to something. I typically always add mine with some sort of a protein in the same meal to minimize the impact on my blood sugar. Let's get into today's recipe. When thinking about the mango today, we decided to do a recipe that maximizes all of its flavor, takes a unique twist on something many of us are familiar with, and would be really easy to make. I'm talking about stir fry mango chicken with cauliflower rice. Now, today's dish was inspired by orange chicken, a dish that combines sweet and savory, crunchy and soft, a lot of various textures. It's just an absolute joy to eat. This recipe is actually very, very simple. And while there's more ingredients than we typically use in most of our recipes on the channel, it really comes down to three separate major steps. Number one is making the marinade for the chicken. Number two is making the sauce. And then lastly is preparing the chicken for stir frying. So let's talk about the ingredients for the chicken marinade. Now I have here just under a pound of dark and white meat chicken. I have a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, a teaspoon of fresh minced ginger, and about a tablespoon of fresh minced garlic. Now this dish creates a really fine, nice crust on the chicken as it stir fries. Unlike most marinades that would use an oil, we want the flour to stick to the chicken. So rather than using oil today, we're going to be using an egg white. This chicken is going to be tossed in a carbolose flour, which if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of this flour because it's high in fiber has, and has minimal impact on blood sugar. But we'll also incorporate a little bit of cornstarch as well, which helps us to create that traditional Asian style texture when we're talking about a stir fried chicken. So we'll add in our egg white, our fresh ginger, our white pepper, our salt, and lastly our garlic and we'll give that just a real quick mix. Now we'll add our chicken. And we'll stir this in together with our spoon. And we'll cover this with plastic wrap and put this in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Now, while our chicken is marinating, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the sauce that will be stir fried into the chicken while it's cooking. Ingredients for the sauce are very simple. We have two tablespoons of white wine, and about a tablespoon of fresh minced garlic, four tablespoons of ketchup, two teaspoons of sriracha sauce, one quarter teaspoon of stevia drops, you can also use any sugar substitute that you wish, roughly about a teaspoon though, one teaspoon of soy sauce, and we're gonna combine all those ingredients together so the flavors fully develop while the chicken is marinating. Now I quickly wanna talk about how to cut a mango. You'll notice that they're oval in shape. They're oval lengthwise like so, but also a little bit oblong like so. What that's telling you is where the seed is in the mango. So in our particular case, the seed is actually running this way. So there's two flat sides. Majority of the meat from the mango will actually be on either side of that seed. Now what most people will tell you is to cut along the side of the seed and then taking that piece of mango, create cross hatch marks so that you create this diced a mango that you can turn inside out. That's fine, it works okay, but I don't think it's necessarily the best way to do it. We're gonna modify that same method by peeling the mango first, then cutting it, and then we can dice it. So I'm gonna use about another half of this mango for the recipe today, and just using a basic vegetable peeler. If you notice, the skin is really thin. So a vegetable peeler works totally fine for this. And we're just going to peel 
around half of the mango. And again, the seed is running this way. So I'm gonna peel this along one side. That way I can store the mango with as much of the rest of the mango intact as possible. Now that we have that one side peeled, let's show you how to cut it. So standing it up on its side, take your knife, you wanna just cut into the center. More than likely you'll hit the seed. So just turn the knife out, find the edge of the seed, and kind of right it as you cut right along the side of that seed all the way down and through and you can dice it from this point. And that's it. So let's talk about the last few ingredients. We have here one green pepper. That's been julienned in one inch size slices. Three tablespoons of tova flour. We also have here one tablespoon of cornstarch. We're gonna mix those together. Our chicken is fully marinated, and now we're ready to combine it with our cornstarch and tova flour mixture. And we'll just simply combine the two. And that looks really good. Every piece of chicken is fully coated. We are ready to stir fry. And the last thing that we have that's not really mandatory for the dish, but I think it's a great addition because it is an Asian style dish, is riced cauliflower. We'll be using that as our rice. We're using a wok for today's dish, but you don't need one. A saute pan will work just fine. The first thing that we want to do though is get this wok really, really hot before we add anything to that. So on a high flame, we'll let that warm up. For stir frying this today, we're going to be using canola oil. It's a high heat oil, doesn't smoke too much, really good for wok cooking. And again, about a tablespoon and we're going to give our cauliflower rice a quick saute. All right, this looks really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and take this out and set it aside and we'll start our chicken. We've cleaned our wok of any remaining cauliflower rice. Now we're gonna turn the heat back up to high and add a little bit of additional oil to start our chicken. We're gonna go ahead and throw our chicken in and we're gonna stir fry this for about two minutes. Now we're gonna add our sauce. This is going to cook for about 30 seconds. Now we can add in our peppers and we're going to cook that for about another minute. And then lastly, we'll add our mango. And we're done. And let's give it a try. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. It's got that real nice mango citrusy sweet flavor. The chicken's perfectly cooked. You can taste the garlic, the ginger. This is fantastic and super easy. Mango chicken. That is really good. I think you'll be really surprised by how little this impacts your blood sugar. As is customary, I will leave a recipe at the end of the video, as well as all the nutritionals, and the impact to my own blood sugar as well. If you got any value out of today, please consider giving us a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell us how we're doing, join the community. We would really appreciate it. And if you're interested in any of the ingredients that we use today, particularly the tova flour, there's a link in the description about where to buy it. Thank you so much. Be carb deliberate. We'll see you soon. And thanks again for watching.